Hello, everybody. It is Tom Chenault. I hope you are having a great day. It is another edition of the one and only two-minute Tom talk that has never been two minutes in its life. But I want to tell you good morning. I'm not looking at you because I am actually refreshing my computer screen because I want to make darn sure I'm getting the information to you that I want to. So give me one more second to get you on my uh, computer. So I can't believe I did this. I've already used up almost my whole two minutes. Adrian's gonna fire me. That will be a bad day. All right, MLM. I've been, uh, I was talking to a little kid and he was talking about how much he appreciated his mom and dad for doing network marketing. And I said, why is that? And the kid was saying, hi Duke. The kid was saying, because it taught him how to pivot in this pandemic. And he watched his mom and dad and he watched him work hard and he watched him succeed and he watched him fail and he watched him take their destiny into their own hands. And I got to thinking about that Wayne Bird and I thought, you know what? That's what we all need to do, Jana Rowe. We need to show our kids or show our parents that we can take our destiny into our own hands and that this business is really, really hard, but it's worth it. And so many people don't believe that as they live their life of scarcity and being the smartest people in the room and they're teaching their kids the same thing. Instead of teaching their kids to be ready for the apocalypse, be ready for this next pandemic, be ready for whatever it might be that is going to really, really affect people's lives, Marilyn Chowdhury, Chapman. Yeah, and you can do that. The good thing about this, there's so many companies out there I don't care what it is you want to figure out a way to go help distribute. And all multi-level marketing is, is helping distribute something. And you are helping distribute something by building an army. And most of you talk to me about all kinds of things going on in your life, Mr. Lammers. And it is something, there's something going on in your life. You're helping distribute something. You're talking about creating business someplace. And I will tell you, maybe, just maybe, you find a product, a bunch of products that you just love so much, and you build an army talking about those products. You've seen me do it for the last 30 years. And you rolled your eyes. I can, I'll never forget when I became a stockbroker. I was a big stockbroker when I got sober, and I decided to become a multi-level marketer. Not by choice, because it was absolute desperation. And I was all those stockbrokers driving by my house. I lived in the country club and they would drive by and just laugh because I was so, it was, you know, no education, no nothing. Those kind of people do network marketing, Derek, not them, not with their great educations. And they would go by and laugh and laugh and laugh at me. And I was grinding it out all the time, Rosemary. But guess what? He who laughs last, laughs best. And now today, not one of those people would, would look, every one of them would love to have my paycheck. They don't, they still wouldn't like to do the work because there's so much rejection involved here. It's like being a Cutco salesman. It's like being a door-to-door -door salesman. It's like being anything like that where you have it all on the line and you have got to face it. But guess what, Don Morris? Guess what? Once you learn to look at rejection like it's not about you, Carolyn, and it's not about your product, it's about them, all of a sudden you're standing inside, inside of that, Chris, saying, you know, all I gotta do is get better at talking to people and talk to more people, Arnan. That's exactly what I'm doing all day long. I'm talking to more people. Over and over and over again, I'm talking to more people. Why do I do that? Because I know if I fill that pipeline and I treat everybody with integrity and respect, I don't act like that goofy multi-level marketer that you hate. I act like the guy that's professional, that's actually interested in your life, trying to figure out what I can do to make your life better. And all of a sudden, everything's what I want for each one of you. And I know there isn't anybody on here that can't jump in that lake and start learning how to swim. And all it is, is getting past the fear, Bo. That's it, getting past the fear. How do you get past the fear of starting? How do you get into the game of loving like crazy, then loving more? How do you get in the game of fire in your brain and higher in your heart? How do you get in the game of making their agenda your agenda? But that's what you wanna to work toward. 
And all of you can do it, every one of you. But just think about your mom and dad who might, you know, I don't know what's going on. I'm your mom and dad or I'm your, I'm your grandparents. And all of a sudden, Social Security isn't enough to cover my prescription medication. And there's no money left in my budget to, you know, all of a sudden there's so many. There's so many reasons why having a residual income pay, makes sense. And most of us can't afford an oil well. Most of us can't afford Bitcoin. Most of us can't afford this, that, or the other thing. You know, all of us can afford to get up today and go, you know, I, I thought the light was gonna be perfect on this thing. So I went through the, it was, I, it was perfect when I started and now it's terrible and that's on me. I didn't push a button. So I'm sitting here just having the beautiful Colorado sunrise come right through the window. And as it's gorgeous, it also looks bad here and I apologize for that. But I know all of you can do it. I know all of you can make it happen. I want it to happen for all of you. I truly do. And if you don't need the money, you get to give it away because that's what also is awesome. So whatever reason that's stopping you, and it's fear, you can't argue the profession. How do you argue the profession? So many people are doing well at it. How do you argue the profession? How do you call it a scam? How do you call it a pyramid scheme? You know, when you say that, or even if you think that, that is nothing more than your fear of talking. Because I'll tell you what, we can't all be brilliant. We can't all have the college educations. We can't all have the legal degrees or the accounting degree or whatever it takes. But we all can get up tomorrow and say, I'm gonna make a stand for my family and everybody else. That's what it's, that's what it's all about, Randy Steen. That's what it's all about, J. Michael Smith. We gotta be willing, that's all it's about, Patrick Nielsen. That is it. So get up right now and put your spikes on and go out there and teach somebody how to teach somebody how to teach somebody to do this. Drop them off right where they wanna be, but don't be embarrassed about this profession. It is absolutely the life raft, the life boat that people need. I love you. See y'all later.